Gang, I've been out here working on my baby, man. I ain't even record. I've been under the car. Oil pan bolts were loose, so I just tighten them up, man. So right now, I'm finna get ready to take the throttle body off and clean it. But before I do that, go ahead and sit it right here. Cause I ain't ready to do that yet. Gotta put this plate back under there for the uh, flywheel. Put the flywheel plate back on there so I can keep the trash out of there. I've been meaning to put it under, but I just never had the chance to get back under the car. So the boat's still in and everything. So I'm finna get under that, man. And I just really wanna tell y'all guys, man, appreciate the support and everything y'all doing, man. Y'all don't know how that jump made me feel, bro. That jump gave me like a whole nother mode to like just keep pushing, keep going. I knew I had supporters, you feel me? But I ain't know y'all support like that. Y'all y'all real life pushing me like, nigga, don't give up. Like, I like that, man. And that's what it's all about, man. At the end of the day, we're going to keep going. And we're not going to let nothing stop us, man. Like I said, I got under there and I see... And I seen oil like on my boats. I said, oh man, that mean, see what I mean? It leaking. So I got my, uh, got my whistle name. I got my socket, put it on there and turned it. When the boat turned a couple times, I said, oh yeah, they be loose. So I'm surprised I didn't have more of an oil leak than I did. And I know I still gotta do the valve cover because the valve cover really not that bad. What's really bad is, is leaking coolant. I figured out what it really is. Um, so, let me show y'all. Get under here. So basically that right there, that coolant, well that spot is coolant, you feel me? I'm gonna show y'all where it's coming from. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but this is just the top. You see the top is seeping from around here from the housing. It's really bad at the bottom. So, I gotta take this off. Um, clean it off real good and get me some more um, sealant and like seal it back up because that's pretty much all that's going on like what did excuse me I'm gonna show y'all it like you playing with I mean I ain't even gonna say that but you see that that bit leaking bad and that's just about me touching it so all this right here is coming from this right here you feel me from it leaking it getting all on here everywhere like that's where all these spots from. You feel me? That's where all these spots coming from. This right here, it's leaking from right there. So we're gonna get back under the car. We're gonna put this plate on. I'm not gonna record that, but I gotta put this plate on real quick. And I put the plate on. I gotta go ahead and uh take that take that off and go ahead and clean it off and reseal it. Then I gotta take my throttle body off. I'm, I'm praying that my throttle body is dirty like last time. I'm praying that um, it got grime on it again for my old filter because my old filter was real dirty. So what happens is this right here, you see how this is already doing what it's supposed to do? It's keeping the dirt off. You should brush it off. So imagine that getting through your cold air intake and coming all the way through the tube and it's getting right here so every time you open a flap it's getting stuck behind the freaking flap and every time you mash it it just building its way up and gunking its way behind the little plate that open and close right so now since i got a new can in cold air intake well new cone i need to clean my throttle body now because now this is going to prevent all the dirt and grime from going in here and getting real dirty so we're gonna clean that as well. But with that being said, after I do that, we should be good with leaks. Other than the valve cover, which is back here on the back side, and it's just leaking like a little dot on the ground. That's nothing. Was was what was major is I thought it was oil, but the whole time it was freaking coolant that was leaking. But what I'm finna do right now is go put this plate on, tighten it up, and come back up here. And we're gonna do everything at the top. Everything at the bottom should be done. I need to put my plate or well, my cover back on, but I'm gonna wait to see if I still leak after I do what I'm doing. And if there's no more leaks on the ground after I move and all that, then I'm gonna put my whole plastic cover and stuff back on. So we don't cause any damages, hitting anything in the road, or you know what I'm saying, busting out the oil pan or anything like that. So 
That being said, man, give me a second. Throttle body not that dirty, but we gonna clean it anyway. Gang, but yeah, man, we just gonna spray a little bit of this on here. I already sprayed a little bit, but I gotta get a little bit more because it's still dirty. It's crazy because the grime would actually got dang make that jump stick for real. Like the grease. The grease light stuff. You're gonna clean it off, man. Yeah. I'm just happy I found my problem, bro, which was uh, the housing leaking, bro. And my god dang oil pan one tight all the way. Finally put the little plate back on for the uh, flywheel. Somebody gonna tell me I don't need that much, but shut up, bro. This is my shit. I'm really just trying to clean it all real good, gang. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's really about the butterfly. If that butterfly got grime on it, your throttle body gonna stick. You feel me? So I might need to go to the to the parts store and get some freaking uh sealant. I need a two, not a two pick, but a uh, Q tip so I can get in there good. No cap. Should be good now. 